Hello, this is another YouTube recording by Dr. Hill for Plenary Physics the Cosmic Engine. Uh, we're in Celestia, a beautiful high-end program which you can download for free on your computers. And we're now above Earth. You can see the word Earth there. Things are labelled. Some things are labelled. And you can see the sun, and the sun is rising. You can see the red sunrise through the Earth's atmosphere, this red scattering effect. And I'm going to to move a few things. Nope, move the Earth further and further away. And rotate ourselves around. Now you've got the word magnetic Earth, that's an Earth I've placed up there. Um, and there's a lot of star systems here, which I'll have a look at. And I'm going to move the Earth out of the way. And start to look at a few of the star systems I recognise. The most beautiful star system you see around here uh, is the Pleiades, or the Little Dipter, or the Seven Sisters here. And this is actually all uh, beautifully rendered here. And we're just going to go in and look at as much as close as we, close as we can. Beautiful star cluster, very visible in the star, very memorable. And I've locked onto there. You can see Jupiter there. You can see this group of stars here. This V forms uh, the um, head of Taurus the bull. And we'll move further out still. And you can see down here is Orion or the Big Dipper. There's Orion's belt. Three very famous stars. Betelgeuse. Here we've got the Sun here. I'm going to move the Earth further, further out of the way. So you can just see Earth in the edge, and we're going to uh, set time and motion, and I want you to look at Jupiter, Mercury, and Mercury is obviously going to rotate around the Sun, the Sun's going to move across the sky. Um, we'll go in there, you can see Venus, occasionally you'll see the Moon race across, and you can see Jupiter, Jupiter's coming to a halt, and it's going backwards. That's going backwards is retrograde motion and of course Jupiter isn't going backwards the Earth is going backwards and you can see Taurus there and in the date which is only a few or it's actually advanced a couple of years from now you can see and here comes the Sun again and there's Venus and a whole lot of planets go in these retrograde motions you can see Jupiter going back and forth and, and this was originally uh, viewed from um, uh, in ancient times as a god wandering or as uh, spheres in space which will rotate if you had a geocentric Earth. Uh, this is Celestia high speed view of Earth and we're now looking at Earth from the outside. We've added some clouds to it, an atmosphere to it, and the reflectivity from the sea. We're now moving quickly off to the moon, and the dark side of the moon, or the, the night side of the moon, and this is the dark side of the moon which we don't normally see. A lot fewer craters. You can see major craters which have hit there. These dark spots are responses to being hit on the opposite side. We come to the sun. Um, the sun here, the dark spot in the centre is an artefact, I haven't loaded a new level, you can see some sunspots on it and the outer layer is a very hot atmosphere you've got the surface there and we now have the orbits and you can see the various orbits of different bodies there the sun and moon and this is the sun centred version, you can see the uh, orbits of comets which come in on the plane, you can see Mercury moving very quickly now you can see from Earth, Mercury would appear to be going backwards. We're now going to zoom in onto Saturn, the red orbits we're going to look at. I'm coming in very close to Saturn. Saturn has some moons and we're looking at Saturn. You can see the, the moons rotating around there, the shadow of the rings over there. And moving off to one of its moons, Minimus. It's got a very distinctive crater on it. Uh, locked on to a live view of Venus from Earth, a magnified view. 
Uh, occasionally the Earth, my observatory, rotates out of the way and it gets on the horizon. I can't see it. So you see that black, black area. Uh, as Venus goes to a full Venus, it's on the far side of the Sun, very small. And when it comes close to you, it's um, dark. It's uh, a new Venus. It's very close to you. And of course, this is what Galileo saw when he looked at Venus. And it was absolutely very obvious that Venus was not on a sphere, but was actually orbiting the Sun. How to get onto Celestia from listlookup.com. You go to previous lessons. You have to go to this cosmic engine. Expand it. Here you've got Celestia. You can download Celestia. Then you can see anything that I've put in here. The nearest star's got a problem with it. You go to Galileo's Jupiter. It's got the URL loaded, which will automatically load up Celestia for you if you've already downloaded Celestia. It takes a little while. I've got a lot of data. You won't have all this data. And if you've got a reasonably fast computer, you're not going to have. So now we've quickly gone to Jupiter. This is the view that Galileo had of Jupiter. You didn't see the bands. Of course, one of the bands recently disappeared, but you can see these moons. He saw actually four moons. And we'll uh, just change the information so that we have the names of the moons. The level of moon, thank you. Okay. These are the small moons that you can see rotating around another beautiful view uh, view in here.